Hello fellow classmates, my name is Greg Warren. I'm a sixth grade online school teacher and today's going to be my first attempt at creating a vlog. What I'd like to talk with you today is about the educational potential of vlogging in the classroom. Before I do that, however, I just want us to think back about how communication has evolved and where, where it started from. Because we go back far enough, uh, the way people used to communicate was with the written word. They would send letters. We had newspapers. And then when along came the phone, uh, we were talking across uh, hundreds of miles uh, through phone lines. And now we have the Internet. And along with that Internet, of course, came blogging. People would put share their ideas in, uh, in the written word. And, and now it's evolved into what we call as vlogging. That's where there's a video recording of someone sharing their thoughts and ideas. And that's where I why I see that that vlogging does have some potential because it it's a new and it's an exciting way for students to get to share what they believe, what they think about, uh, the things that they have a passion for, the things that they're excited about, the things that they're interested in. And that's one of the keys, I believe, that vlogging uh, has to have in our classrooms for it to be successful, is we need to let students have more ownership of what they vlog about. In other words, if we are just telling students to create a video about a book report or create about a, a video about something they've written, that's not the same thing as a vlog, because a vlog, I believe, uh, is more about what they have a, a passion for, a more uh, about what they're interested in. Now, as teachers, we can kind of set some guidelines there, of course, but the key to it, I believe, is that vlogging is more about what they're interested in. That's what creates the excitement. That's what creates the passion. That's what creates the drive in them. That's that's what's going to create them wanting to do better. Now, of course, when they want to do better, what is that going to translate into? That's going to translate into them thinking about how do, how do I develop uh, better skills, better speaking skills, better conversational skills, better voice tone, all of those things that we as teachers try to get our students to do anyway, they're going to be wanting to do. So that's one of the advantages I think that vlogging has. That's, it's going to have that, that potential there. That it's going to help give them that spark, that excitement that they're going to want to do good at it. And of course, uh, another thing about vlogging is they do like getting the feedback from their peers. All right. So when they're getting the feedback from their peers, that's another thing that's helping them to learn to be better communicators. All right. That's just one more skill. And as they're looking at what their the feedback they're getting from their their peers, they're going to be asking themselves some of those critical thinking uh, types of questions like, why is my opinion more valid than someone else's maybe somebody else has given them a question or, or uh, a feedback and that's good that's going to get the process thinking that's that's all part of good communications the critical thinking that deeper thinking and that's kind of where education's going right now anyway i believe is we're trying to encourage kids to to develop deeper thinking we're trying to encourage kids to take more ownership of their education we're trying to encourage kids to kind of uh, pick a path and and we're we are supporting them along that path and we're encouraging them but that's part of uh, where education is going I see vlogging as being a, a big part of that now uh, along with uh, taking more ownership and uh, uh, the students doing that on their own, vlogging also is going to require from us as teachers to develop some skills as well, isn't it? Uh, because as, if we have students that want to do a better job, they're going to be coming to us and they're going to be asking us to help them. We're going to need uh, we're going to need to be ready to help them do that. So that means perhaps we're going to have to experiment more with vlogging. And perhaps we're going to have to work on some of our communication skills as well. Well, that's all I have for today. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. Maybe next time I'll be watching your vlog.